What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer music from your computer, either Windows, PC, or Mac, to your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Hey there, my name is Sergio. Welcome back to the video. And in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I got a bunch of cool links in the description down below. So check them out and let's move on with the video. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you that there is no music on this device first. So we're gonna go over here and find the music player on this Galaxy A35 5G. It is YouTube Music. Um, so as you can see, I do not have any songs saved on this device. So if we go to library, uh, there is no music here. Okay, all it says is episodes for later. Uh, there is uh, no songs, no playlists, pretty much nothing. See, songs you save to your library will show here. So let's go ahead and show you how we do it. So all you need to do is, first off, you need to connect your Galaxy A35 5G to your computer. So find the correct cable in order to connect it. My computer has a standard USB port, so I will connect a, a USB to USB-C connector uh, because the Galaxy A35 uses USB-C. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and connect it. It is gonna look a little bit different uh, for Windows PC and Mac, so on a Mac, it's gonna look like this. On a Windows PC, what it's gonna do is uh, it's gonna automatically start installing the drivers. So you gotta give it a couple seconds or a minute or two to install the drivers. Here we're gonna select allow because we wanna allow the connection to the computer. Okay, uh, here I got mixed messages. So uh, on top here it says can't access storage. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and on, the, on a Mac we're gonna open Android file transfer, which is gonna look like this. It may be on your dock. And here are the files inside the phone. So if we go to music here, as you can see, there is no music. There's just thumbnails and then uh, I think this is just the ringtone. So no more music, all right? If this is not showing up, what you can do is you can swipe down from the top right corner of the screen. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and find here uh, the connection. So as you can see down here towards the bottom, it says USB for file transfer. So you would select that, okay? And you would make sure that this device is selected and that transferring files, Android Auto is also enabled. Once those are both connected, uh, your phone will be ready to transfer files from the computer to the phone and vice versa. Okay, so here on the computer, uh, once it's connected and reading, and on Windows, once it installed the drivers, you can go ahead and find your music files on your computer. So I have them right here, all right? And then what we're gonna do is, you can either select song by song that you wanna transfer over. Uh, let's say I wanna transfer some of these songs. I can just drag and drop into the music file here. Or what I can also do is, I can just select all of my music files, since I have different folders here organized by different genres and I can drag all the files over to the music file on the phone. Okay, you're gonna wanna make sure that your phone is unlocked. So if you have a password on it, put the password in the pin and unlock the screen. The screen should be unlocked to easily connect uh, the phone to the computer. All right, so we're gonna give it a few seconds here for it to completely transfer over. All right, so it looks like it's almost done transferring. And there we go, it looks like it finished. So here on the computer, uh, we can go ahead and check here. Uh, now, as you can easily see here, uh, there are, uh, before it was just this Samsung folder and the thumbnails, now we have all these other, uh, you know, artists and music genres that I transferred over. All right, so we can go ahead and disconnect the phone now from the computer. And we're gonna go ahead and find the YouTube music app once again. Okay, let's give it uh, some time to refresh here. Okay, so yeah, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to select up here this arrow and you're gonna have to select on where it says device files. Here in device files, it's letting you know that you need to uh, grant permission to access the device media files. So select allow and select allow one more time. So give it a couple seconds for it to load all of your music. And there we go. It has loaded up all of the songs. Uh, it may take some time to load up all of the uh, clip art for the tracks, but yep, here is uh, all of the music I transferred over. Yeah, it is a lot of music. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and play uh, just one of these right here, for example. Uh... Yeah, baby, so let's go to the next song. 
Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, music is playing, even though it hasn't even loaded up all of the fan art yet. I mean, clip art. Ha, sicker than your average. All right, so there we go. We have the music on the device now so that you can go ahead and listen to your music without necessarily being connected to the to Wi-Fi or having data on your cell phone plan. And then just a bonus tip, another way you can access your media is by going into the Samsung folder, going into My Files, and here selecting Audio Files. If you select Audio Files, all of your music will be here as well. So there we go. That is how you transfer music over from your computer, Windows PC, or Mac to your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. So I hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and hit that like button if it did. Comment down below and let me know. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.